tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the 2017 Evil Idol voice acting competition. Voting is simple. Following the performance, simply click the thumbs up icon on this video if you'd like them to become a member of the team, or the thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Voting on this entry will conclude one week after the date of its posting. Good luck to all of our contestants. I'm the protector of the world. The shriveled up man next to me shook as he held back tears. Beads of cold sweat jettisoning from his pores, his already pale skin looking a shade more like a ghost. You gotta understand, they trusted me and I fucking cracked. I squealed on the whole lot. I failed. And now everyone's gonna die. Softly massaging my empty glass, I entertained him. So, you're the protector of the world, huh? What is that, like a contracting job? You DOD? A cop? I smirked, a chuckle dancing out of my throat. Wait a minute, are you Superman? The poor guy wasn't amused. He just entrenched his sobbing face into his palms still mumbling words I couldn't comprehend. The door at the front of the bar swung open as a short but well-groomed man sauntered in. Stubborn flakes of snow from the blizzard outside clung to his overcoat like tiny crystal leeches, refusing to melt as he made his way over to where I sat. Pardon me, friend, but I'm here for him, the short man explained pointing a knobby finger at the wet mass of a human sitting to my right. Long since trading in bravery for cheap cowardice, the pale man beside me nodded. He reached into his puffy winter jacket and pulled out a small glass orb. I couldn't help myself. I burst into hysterical laughter. <laughs> oh, that's some world you were protecting, you fucking clown. Oh, let me guess... You're the neighborhood watchdog for a whole Christmas village. Neither of the men looked my way. They were both too focused. The bar patron on the tear-soaked floor underneath his stool. The newcomer on the snow globe in his hands. The short man's eyes grew to a deep red in color. Steam erupting from his nostrils as he snorted like a feral pig. Then, with a single drop... He anointed the little glass sphere with blood from his eye. Crimson spilt onto the globe and with a velvety sizzle pierced the glass and infected the innards like a dye. I watched dumbfounded as the man in the overcoat casually set the tainted sphere onto the bar, letting it drop to a clunk before calmly strolling out of the bar the way he entered. No longer sobbing, the man to my right whispered, now do you believe? Listen, you fool. Leaning over the bar, I lent my ear in a show of sympathy, but nearly shrieked with fright as my ears absorbed tiny cries of agony bleeding from the snow globe. You see, I failed. Deep tragic sorrow filled the man's baleful eyes as they looked up at me in regret. Thump. My attention was diverted away from the man, over to the bay window at the front of the bar. The wind had died, and the snow had picked up. In its place, thick beads of crimson were falling from the sky. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already... Don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via either a thumbs up or thumbs down vote. New entries will be posted throughout July. Be sure to tune in and vote for each of them and help decide who becomes the next Evil Idol. In the meantime, turn off the lights 
and turn on the dark. Chilling Tales for Dark Night.